Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanson. Welcome, you guys, to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today we have a very, very interesting st show in store for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Now, as you guys know, Bronny James is a very big topic in the sports world. Uh, we're discussing him. It seems like a lot of people appreciate some of our, you know, our views. On the Bronny James situation, we've been having people message us all over the place on Instagram, on the channel, saying, man, we really appreciate your perspective on it. So it means that we must be doing something properly. So I'm just going to keep doing me and keep being myself and interpreting things the way I see it. So what happened yesterday? I think he played in his fourth or fifth summer league game uh, in Vegas. And yesterday, something interesting happened because Bronny James actually ended up having uh, his best game. Um, of his summer league experience, right? He actually ended up scoring uh, 12 points in that game on 45.5% shooting, shooting 40% from the three-point line. He did have one turnover, one steal, one rebound uh, in the game. And of course, some of his other teammates play well as well as um, like Colin Castleton. He scored 17 points. Maxwell Lewis, he had eight. Uh, Armel Troare, he had eight as well. And him, Blake Henson, he, I think he came off the bench, if I'm not mistaken. He had uh, 14 points. But by far, by far, uh, this was the best game Bronny has had in Summer League. It's the best game, right? Uh, because prior to this performance, he was having some very, very, very bad uh, performances. And people were basically calling it like they saw it, right? So what happened yesterday, um, Bronny's agent and LeBron's agent, Bronny's father, Rich Paul, made a guest appearance on the Pat McAfee show. It was about a 14 minute into a, a, a visit. And during that sit down, they were talking about a bunch of different things, talking about Bronny's game and all of that. But then they got to a very important question, which was how much of a role did LeBron play in terms of ensuring that Bronny James gets drafted by the Lakers? And ultimately, who's the one that made the final decision to bring Bronny James? Uh, and to my surprise, Rich Paul essentially said that, look, the person that made the decision was Jeannie Buss, and she came to it on her, you know, with from, from her own uh, conclusion. So these are the comments that we want to focus in on today. But before we even get into what Rich Paul had to say about what Jeannie Buss had to say, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Game Time. Game Time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. For example, I am super excited about the upcoming MLB games. With Game Time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal, the best option deal, or my favorite, the flash deal. The flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that I can only find on game time. Once I select the ticket I want, I can see view my seat. And it's not just restricted to baseball. I can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football, the NBA, concerts, comedy, or other theater shows. Included in my purchase, I also have a 24 hour return guarantee, a lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection. So take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with game time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we would like to do now is we'd like to play exactly what uh, Rich Paul had to say to Pat McAfee yesterday on ESPN. And then we're going to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to what Rich Paul had to say here. The Lakers have seen LeBron James... And that answer was phenomenal. Just want to let you know that. Yeah. That was so cool just to hear you go into explaining and answering everything that has basically been said about Bronny on the internet over the last couple of weeks mm -hmm. in one answer right there. Just, they, they put out another tweet, too. Yeah, and he so, said, hey, listen. Yeah, yeah got respect. And the whole thing. I know I know Jay. Jay's a good guy, so we, we're not going to spend too much time on that. Yeah, they said that you uh, sent 10, uh, 10 Escalades to his house. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 we can send it, you know, we, we did the whole entire thing, but you answering all those questions for Bronny is incredibly cool there, I think, as a guy that is representing him and looking out for his future business standpoint, and, you know, LeBron has told us that Bronny blocks out all that stuff and all the noise and everything, but I think for us, getting to see footage of how LeBron James is acting at Team USA practice, I would assume that the Lakers have faith that Bronny is going to maybe be able to figure out how to be an NBA player. Yeah. So you in them having that conversation, it's like, I assume that's an easier decision to be made. And because he is LeBron James, 
son, yeah, there is going to be some exemptions, I think, and some potential thoughts that, yeah, we've seen his guy's dad do his thing here. We assume he'll be able to work. Is that a part of the conversation? Do you think that that is kind of how and why yeah. these things come together? Because why is everybody <laughs> talking about how if this wasn't LeBron's kid, this wouldn't be happening? No shit. We're talking about like, <laughs> this is, you know what I mean? Like, no, that not that just kind of expected in this entire thing? And why does everybody think it's a big deal? Yeah, but, I, you know, I kind of, you know, I, I agree and I kind of disagree with that, right? In, in, in terms of, yeah, he has to, James, look, this is a, Jeannie decided that she's making this call and she's been able to see Bronny in all aspects, not only from a basketball perspective, but also from a character, character perspective. And he has everything that aligns with the Laker brand. And so you have to make that type of call, you know? That's awesome. And so at the end of the day, at the end of the day we're not going to spend too much time on that. Bronny has to work his way, and he will. Okay, that's awesome to hear. So you heard what Rich Paul had to say, that ultimately it was Jeannie Buss' decision, but ultimately LeBron being Bronny's father played a role. But I'm going to get to that aspect of it because we need to spend some time discussing the financial aspect of this entire story. And I was talking to my dad, and he was the one really pointing it out to me. Look. The primary reason this is happening is because it's going to make a lot of money. Uh, and that's something that we cannot overlook in this entire equation. LeBron James is a cash cow for the NBA. And if you can have someone that is attached to LeBron James, that can also generate income, not only for the league, but for the Lakers, uh, it is going to be something that they're going to push. And I think that one of the major reasons, or if not the biggest reason, the Lakers decided to make such a decision beyond just from their basketball analysis of Bronny James is the financial impact it's going to have on their balance sheet. That's what I think is that's what I think is also playing a role here. They know that Bronny James is a draw because of his father is going to bring a lot of attention is going to sell a lot of jerseys um, and it's something that's going to help the Laker brand and ultimately help the NBA and they found a way to make a lot of money off of this acquisition of bringing Bronny James to the Lakers. And I think ultimately, that's what it's ultimately about. I don't think that anyone is looking at the Lakers acquiring Bronny James as some championship move or something like that. We know that's not what it's for, right? We know that. We know he's not going to be an impact player to that level. But what we do know now is that it's going to have a tremendous financial impact. Uh, and that's something that I personally believe cannot be discounted. And it's only after listening to what Rich Paul had to say that it really crystallized what's really going on here. Look, this is a money play. And if Bronny plays well, it's just an added bonus. The fact of the matter is they're going to promote Bronny, whether he's good or not, they're going to talk about him. If he plays well, they're going to definitely promote the hell out of him. If he doesn't play well, they're still going to promote the hell out of him because it generates income, it generates attention, generates eyeballs. People want to hear about it, whether they like it or not. People are going to talk about it the way we're talking about it, the way the next person is talking about it, the way they're talking about it on TV, the way you're talking about it with your friends. And it helps the Lakers, right? It helps the Lakers. It helps the Lakers brand. The Lakers are the marquee franchise in the NBA in terms of attention. Now, they're not the most valuable team in the NBA, the, the, the Golden State Warriors are the most valuable team. I believe the New York Knicks are more valuable than the Lakers. I think the Lakers are the third most valuable franchise in the NBA. But in terms of marketing, they're the most marketed team in the entire. They're the, they're the flagship brand uh, of the NBA. And that's why they constantly have to remain in the news because of their fan base, their market, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So after Rich Paul said that, it all makes sense now. This is a financial decision. So Laker fans, if you're, um, uh, what's the word, um, confused about what's going on here you need to factor in the financial aspect of all of this that even though the lakers might may not be a competitive team from you know a playoff standpoint they will be competitive in the bank account because they will be they, they still will be making a lot of money and Bronny is a new revenue stream for them whether you like it or not whether that's a decision they've all come to agree with whatever the case may be it is what it is that's why they probably have no problem giving them a nine year whatever eight year million eight million dollar deal so drop in a bucket for them and it's going to make them a lot of money. So these are my thoughts. What I want to know from the audience is what do you think about the information that Rich Paul uh, um, uh, disclosed on the Pat McAfee show? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.